That was nuts. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are good and well and enjoying your day. Um, in today's video, I do plan on going over to my old man's place and start ripping apart the wagon and everything because we've got a lot of things happening really quickly and we really need to start getting that wagon apart so when we've got the new shell, we can put it all back in. I've already started ripping out some of the parts. So you can see just down here, I've got like the head unit, some of the stuff from inside, the ECU and everything. Well, I'm pretty sure we're waiting. We're just about to have a package arrive. Uh, so we'll rip into that too because there should be some goodies on the way. But I guess first off, hang on, I'll jump out into the garage and then we'll uh, we'll pick it up from there. Alrighty, so I don't know if you guys remember or if most of you saw when we actually had the blower set up on the, uh, on the engine in the car before, you know, whatever happened. Um, before all that happened, we probably would have gone over the fact that like, you need that extra little wank factor. You need to be extra, you need to be above and beyond. And the thing about the VEs and VFs, I uh, also noticed it with the, with the Camaros as well. Um, they have very deep engine bays. I guess that's the only way you can really put it. And the injector hat, You'd normally, on this exact kind of setup, on most cars, this would stick up above the roof. But in these newer, later model cars, the engine bay is so deep, this only comes like halfway to maybe three quarters of the way up the windscreen. And that's just not enough. We've got to be bigger than that. We've got to be better than that. So what I did last night was I went shopping and I wanted to find a spacer that went between the block. I'll go on the side. I wanted to find a spacer that went between the uh, manifold and the blower but those are extremely freaking expensive. So I had another search and what I found really cheap, amazingly too, was a three inch spacer that goes between the hat and between the blower. So it's just gonna, and it's already black and anodized sort of fit in. And it'll just be like, just literally that much more. And that will probably be more than enough to get it above the roof. Some people may not agree with that, but I wanna go big and I'm not gonna go home. You know the saying, but yeah, you get, you get what I mean. So yeah, I can't wait for the, the little space to shop because that's gonna make a huge difference with how tall the motor sits and which in my, in my opinion is like the stance and the aggression, the way it looks and all those cool things. Alrighty, so enough talking about the big pretty stuff and enough, I guess, just sitting here gawking at it. We're not freaking getting anything done here. I'm going to uh, jump over to my old man's place and try and start ripping out as much of the interior as I can. What do you look at this? We've got a big box just delivered. I don't know if you can read that since it's upside down. But it looks like the boys from Rod Shop have sent us some goodies. Let's have a look. Let's rip this box open and let's see what's inside. Alrighty, what do we got in here? Ooh. Oh yeah, Rod Shop shirt. Alrighty, we've got some freaking good bits in here. So the legends of the rod shop actually hit me up the other day and they said that they really wanted to help out with the build because they saw the videos, they saw what happened, they saw how the wagon got destroyed and everything. Then they saw that we were rebuilding it all and we're going to get it ready for some of that still and then we're still smashing it on track and they wanted to get on board, which is absolutely nuts and I cannot thank them enough. Make sure that if you're already subscribed to this channel, I can probably already guarantee you subscribe to their channel, but jump over onto their YouTube, subscribe to their channel. If you need anything, they pretty much make everything. So definitely jump onto their website, hit them up. They're incredible guys. They have some of the toughest cars in Australia, if not the world. And yeah, I cannot thank them enough for the parts that they sent out to me today. And I reckon it's such a cool touch how they got Rod Shop pretty much in everything. And it's so cool, yeah, inscribed in it there. But yeah, so this is like, as it says, stamped in just here, VEVF Turbo 400 mount. Um, this is another trans, uh, like a trans support mount just there. And then we've got the engine mounts just here. So it's going to really help it be locked down and it's going to be so much easier for me. I have to put everything back in the car and I cannot thank them enough. So huge shout out for the guys for sending this over because this is really going to help the build because I have to admit, I didn't even think about any of this stuff. So now that it's just here and we don't need to think about it, one less headache. Alrighty. So we're back again today with the mess of everything. Um, you can see all the way back to the tail shaft back there. Good, you can see all the way back to the diff. Now, keep that. That's ruined. Uh, if anyone needs a uh, 6080 gearbox, that one's pretty damn good. Oh, where do we jump in first? Now, we do need to move the car out to the back there. Which is going to be fun, especially with that flat tyre. But I guess where I'll start from today is just trying to get the seats out. So I'll oh, I have to start from the other side because I'm not gonna be able to get these open. Alrighty. My old man will be here in a couple minutes to help. That'll make life a shit ton easier. Well, let's just get into it. And a little harder than I thought it was gonna be, well, at least in here at the moment. It's a bit, bit of a tight fit, but I've got the 
rear seat out, the bottom at least. Seems to be the only little uh, damage that we've gotten on the rear seat so far from what I've seen, which is good. I was really worried that we we're gonna rip the leather. We kind of just chucked everything in the car after the crash and we really didn't consider saving, being gentle on the leather, I guess. Um, so yeah, just go, I'm gonna try and at least pull out front seat, rear seats, gonna try and figure out how the hell these go in there. Um, and then pull out the floor mat, everything like that. Then we can start getting to the nitty gritty annoying stuff. See where it's folded over? Yeah, it's like pinched them together. So the doors are literally fused together just here. We're trying to get them open just so we can get in the car a bit easier. Um, so we were with crowbars trying to pull them apart. I mean, it's literally fused together. So I think we're literally just gonna cut all around here. Both doors should almost fall off then. Already got the first seat out. It is actually really awesome the way that they, they go in. They've got two big ass bolts at the back and they kind of like hook into the front. You can see just there. So yeah, they're all good. That front seat at least isn't too damaged. Um, it's a bit weathered from my fat ass sitting in it for so long, but that's definitely savable. Um, low car problems. So that's what is going to be the hardest. Yep. If you have a lift from there, put a rag on your other hand. I'll be expecting to be a lot heavier. Going to get your lack off so you're not doing anything there. So it is now the next day. Um, annoyingly, I don't have a car today. I didn't put two and two together. So I can't get back to my freaking old man's place to keep ripping stuff apart. I wanted to have almost all the interior out today. Now I'm just gonna freaking sit here on my thumb and do nothing. But car shopping, more parts, get this build underway. Now, I, I can't guarantee it right now, but we should be picking the wheels up on Friday. So if everything goes to plan on Friday, there's a good chance you will see the wheels. Finally, and this weekend, we're picking up freaking like what feels like an entire car's worth. Picking up the front end, picking up the shell, um, dropping off the engine to APM. Um, APM have been freaking amazing and they're helping us so much. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do a full shop tour this weekend for next week's videos. But yeah, huge weekend packed for some insane content. Apologize if today wasn't too exciting, but next week is going to be freaking mental and it's gonna be the start of something huge. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. And also, if you're on Instagram, make sure you follow us there. That's where we upload a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, a lot of stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube. Oh, all right, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one, Friday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Peace. I've been it thugging, you bitching and bugging, there's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper, got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat, I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm